Good day, everyone. Daniel Fairless back here with the Portugal College Smart Lab. Um, today we have a fun activity for you that you can do at home. Uh, it's a little on the messy side. That's why we have the little more casual attire today. We're going to be going over the materials needed, the process, and then we're going to go outside and uh, film the results. Should be fun, though. Like I said, something you can do at home fairly easily. Uh, I have my assistant again with me today, Dalton. All right. <laughs> so we're going to uh, get into it, and uh, I'll be discussing what's going on while Dalton uh, shows you the uh, materials and the basic procedure for this activity. All right, so today we're going to be making a soda geyser. As I said, it's definitely an outside activity. We're going to do part of it inside here at the table, and then we're going to take it outside before we actually activate it and make the geyser itself. So for this activity, you're going to need a piece of construction paper. You're going to need a pack of Mentos. You're also going to need a two liter bottle of preferably diet soda. Diet soda works better for this. So we have Diet Coke. We have our construction paper. We have our Mentos. You're also going to need a paper clip or a toothpick. We're going to use a paper clip and some tape. You can use duct tape. You can use basically any kind of tape we're going to use scotch tape so for this we need to make a tube to hold our mentos so we're going to take our piece of construction paper and our tube of mentos before we've opened it and we're going to roll the construction paper around we're going to roll it around the tube of mentos so we have the correct size this is going to be our mentos holder So he's going to roll that all the way up. And when he gets it rolled all the way up, he's going to take a piece of scotch tape and he's going to tape up the ends to hold that shape. Got one end taped up. The other end taped up. We're going to drop the roll of Mentos out. He's going to make sure the tape is down flat and tight so that it'll fit in the neck of the bottle. And redo that one. A little trial and error, no problem. We'll redo the one end. Careful to not let it expand too much so that it won't fit down into the uh, neck of the bottle. So right now I'm just explaining the basic procedures to get this rolling and then we're going to take it outside and I'll discuss a little of the science behind it as it's going on. So once we have our tube construction or constructed, we're going to carefully open our two liter bottle of soda. This one looks like it has a little bit of pressure already on it, so he's going to open it slowly. Going to remove the cap. a little bit now so you can see can you see now yeah okay so now he's going to slide the tube hopefully down inside the neck of the bottle a little bit then he's going to take some tape and secure it forming a good seal around both the tube and the neck of the bottle We have a good seal there, Dalton. Just a, one more piece. Now, just above the neck of the bottle, he's gonna undo his paper clip on one side, 
So he has a handle and then a pointy part. Straighten out that one side there. Now he's gonna poke that carefully through the center of the tube, through both sides. Be careful not to poke your finger with, if you're using a toothpick during this part. Give it a little twist as you're trying to poke it through and it'll go a little easier. All right, now we have that through there. So now we have, that's basically gonna be our firing pin for our uh, geyser here. So at this point, you can go ahead and open the tube of Mentos. You don't need to put the whole tube in there. Somewhere between five and seven should suffice. So now you're going to drop those in from the top. They should rest against the, either the toothpick or paper clip that you put in there. Be careful that it doesn't fall out or we're gonna have a geyser inside the house, which we don't want. Are you keeping count? <laughs> that would be three. I'm going to put one more. We'll call six. So we're going to put six Mentos inside our tube. And then we're going to take our geyser carefully outside, making sure that our firing pin doesn't fall off on the way. And then we'll rejoin this outside and see the results. All right, we're back outside now with our uh, soda geyser. Dalton's going to pull the firing pin and we're going to see what happens. Go ahead, Dalton. Pull it, stand back. All right, all right. As you can see, we got the geyser effect. You see the bubbles that are in there? We probably needed a little more tape around the neck of the bottle, but that's okay. I mean, not every experiment comes off perfectly the first time. So, as you can see by our result, we got a good geyser. We got a, a bunch out of the top. Um, the reason that this works is the soda itself has carbon dioxide gas that's pumped into it. That's the bubbles that you get when you pour a glass of soda. Um, those bubbles are surrounded by water molecules and uh, it takes a little effort for, it to, uh, for them to escape. Um, the surface tension of the water sticks to itself. The surface tension holds and traps those carbon dioxide molecules. And what happens is when those Mentos, the, the, the uh, gum Arabic and other ingredients inside the Mentos help to um, lessen that surface tension of the water molecules. And once those are broke, the gas, the gas is free to escape. And uh, as they drop down into the bottle, all the um, carbon dioxide above it is forced out um, through the top because of that chemical reaction. So if you do it properly you get a really good geyser and um, a nice effect. Once again you can see uh, the results you want to do this outside somewhere for cleanup purposes definitely do not do this one inside. So now we'll go back inside and do our outro and uh, get ready for another activity. All right, so we're back inside now. Um, we had our soda geyser. As you all can see, it's a rather uh, forceful reaction between those Mentos and that diet soda. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, a little bit of mess, um, but doesn't require a whole lot, and it's something you can do at home um, fairly easily. We're going to save this two liter bottle because we're going to, in our next video, um, create a baking soda and vinegar rocket and uh, talk about some other reactions and uh, scientific pr principles in that one. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you stay tuned uh, for the next video and uh, we'll see you soon.